What's up everyone? We're getting ready to go change the oil in the lower units on the Yamaha 300s on the 37 foot Freeman Boatworks. Heading over to the boat yard right now. We got Vic over there and Sarah. And Nick filming, and Nick filming himself. And Nick filming himself. Sarah said she's gonna change oil with us today. She says since the boat is half hers, she uh, has to do two of the motors. She might be three quarters, she's got a daughter. All clear. Oh, Captain Sassy. Out the way. It is a slick, calm day here in Alamorada. It's like a lake out here, like glass. So we're about to change the lower unit oil and Sarah said I could have the rest of her breakfast. So we got bacon and like an English muffin. Sarah can't get down. There's my ladder and red carpet. There's no red carpet, no ladder. Things have changed. Step on my side plate. I was going to jump and not hit my tailbone. Step on the motor. I can't even reach it. I'm not even close. Where's my ladder? Hey, you made it. I think that's our biggest challenge today. Getting Sarah getting down. on and off the boat. Empty the bucket. Okay, step number one is to remove this lower screen. Maybe I'll get you a new Allen key set. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I have one in the boat. Oh, so you just gave me the rusty crap one? Yep. So, first we loosen this screw. And you need a new screwdriver too. What kind of an operation is this? Uh, well, my hands are all greasy and rusty now. So you lost your big screwdriver. Yep. I lost a big screwdriver. It does help greatly. We're gonna loosen the top screw and then it's gonna release the pressure inside and the oil is gonna come out into the pan. Man, it's not even black. 
That oil looks like new. It looks really good. <laughs> we gotta do it three more times. The bottom screw on the lower unit's magnetic. It collects the little metal shavings. So you can see there's a little bit on there. Not much, that's good. If there's a lot of metal shavings on it, obviously it's a bad sign. Oil's clean, no water in it. And here we are doing it on this beast of a quad boat. I told Sarah we're gonna go on a romantic cruise on the boat. Then I took her to the boat yard. Got her. I only had three pans. I guess I need to get a fourth. So we need a fourth pan, new screwdriver, and a not rusty Allen. Okay, right, let's check the boat out while it's up here on the lift too. We just come for a quick haul out, takes about one hour, lift the boat up, change the gear case oil, and back in the water and back to fishing tomorrow. Sarah can't reach the paper towels. Wait, let me get Okay, we got them. <laughs> We're gonna put this pump that has all the fresh lower unit oil in it. We're gonna hook it up to the bottom and we're gonna pump the fresh oil inside the lower unit. And when it fills up, it's gonna come out of the top and that's how we're gonna know it's full. So this has threads on it, so it just screws right in to the bottom. There's the valve, so we're going to open the valve. So we know this one's full now. You can see the oil coming out of the top there. You don't want any air bubbles in it, so we're going to let a little extra run through there. We don't want a lot of bubbles there. We want full of oil. See a couple air bubbles still coming. Pocket. You can see that's really clear oil now, really clean, no air bubbles. Time to put the screws back in with new O-rings. These are new O-rings. You always want to replace these every oil change. You never want to reuse the old ones. Very important. See, look, you can see the wear on the old ones. See how it's all... So, don't ever reuse your old O-rings. So she put the top bolt in first there. Or else it'll just come pouring out the bottom again, which we don't want. Bottom bolt in. Cool. Release. No, no. <laughs> All right, new more rings. Ready. Three of the four motors, the oil looked really good, and one of the motors still looked decent. Usually counter-rotating motors, the oil is blacker and just because the gears are working harder. So you can see the blackness here. See, that's a lot blacker compared to that. Counter-rotating, standard turn. Things going back on. Sarah just put the screen back on there. And all we gotta do at the end now is pull the props to check for mono or braid or anything like that and uh, we'll be good to go. When we fill the motors back up, we had the motors all the way down to keep them as vertical as possible. Drop screws in. 
So I bought this pump for my boat, <laughs> which is just for one engine. But it's a good design. It gets it in there pretty quick and you just open the lid and pour the fresh oil in and then pump it up and... I should have sold it to Nick though and made some money on it. Or, or I should rent it to you. Every, every time you do an oil change, I should rent it. We didn't think we had enough, so before we get started and run out, we'll just put a fresh quart in. Filling up the last one. All right, final screw goes back in. So we did two, four, six, eight screws. We didn't lose any of them. Score. <laughs> we done. Finito. So all the oil has changed. Now we're just gonna pull the props, double check for mono, and call it a day. Sarah couldn't get it. My hands it. are covered, look, they're covered in oil. His hands are squeaky clean because he's just been holding the camera. Moment of truth. Nice and clean. So that's a really good sign. There's no mono, no braid. A lot of times if there's water in the oil, that's why, because you got stuff around your shaft there and it breaks the seal. So keep your shaft clean, people. Don't run over a fishing line. Sarah's hands were smaller, we let her put the cotter key back in there. So that's one main difference between the new boat and the old boat. Four motors to change oil on, but they're all done. Luckily, Sarah helped me on the day off. Sadie's at daycare, so we're going back in the water now. I'm gonna run back to Bud and Mary's. oil probably the least fun thing about owning a boat but you got to do it got to keep the motors happy keep them running that's how we make a living taking charters so hope everyone enjoyed that video leave a comment if you did especially if you want to see sarah in more videos I'm trying to get her in more and uh we're gonna run home the camera battery's about to die so we'll see you back there at bud and mary's we'll see you next time hit the subscribe button if you're not and uh we'll see you around <laughs>